Hi, my name is Justin Tanner. Today, I will be walking through you step by step on how to use your e-log system. I will be giving you pointers on how to use it effectively and proficiently. I will show you how to log in, log out, how to do your on-duty, off-duty, drive time, post-trip, and pre-trip. I will also tell you about how to use the PeopleNet website, along with some other nice interesting factors and pointers that will help you through your day. Alright, this is your PeopleNet. In order to log in to the PeopleNet screen, you'll have a little keyboard icon right here in the bottom right hand corner. You can press it. You can also pull your keypad down to get it out of the way where you can actually see what you type up here. Your driver ID will be the ID given to you by the company. You type it in. At this point in time, you'll press the screen where it says password and enter the password. Your password will be your truck number. To make the keyboard disappear, the X red box, over here you'll have the done button. There's two ways you can do it. You can push the done itself or you can push the second left button. The next step, it asks your trailer information and entry current trailer information. At this point in time, the trailer information trailer number will be 66557777. Any option remark, if anything's wrong with the trailer, tires, a little war, or anything of that nature, press right there on keypad, hit your ABC button, you can type in tire, or warn. That way it records that there is a problem with the trailer that might be later addressed by the company. Then you can push next, shipping information. At this point in time, we're picking up at Legends. L, just type it in. Where are you going? Optional remarks, you can say whether you're picking up early, late, up to your discretion at this point in time. Next. Then I ask you if you're a team driver, status, and if you don't have one, just press next. It asks you the hours of regulation. US 70 slash 80, or if you're driving in Canada, you can choose the Canada, Canadian option. At this point in time, I'm going to begin my on duty day by pressing on duty. It asks the location status, location information. At this point in time, I'm at the Burger King lot here in Kansas City. All you have to type in is the Burger King lot, or wherever you're sitting at. Press next. It asks to enter remarks. And uh, I'm starting my duty or the day. So I'm going to type in pre trip. So it'll flag the pre trip at this point in time. Then it'll just have a confirmation screen. I'm going to off duty to duty. Press done. Alright, at the top of your screen. If you'll go to the right row of uh, buttons, press the second one, you'll see e-driver log. Press that. In that, you'll have your duty status, hours of regulation, review your hours, and inspection. Press the inspection button. Press pre-trip. And it'll come up with a clear box. Push your on screw on screen keyboard. Type in everything is good and press done and your pre-trip is now flagged go back to your duty status and select driving type in bk lot or wherever you're sitting at that point in time clear your screen choose next enter remarks is optional Day. Have a good day. Next, it asks you to the confirm confirmation screen going from on duty to driving. And you're ready to start driving.
truck stop, drive it on home. Right here at the bottom of the screen, it'll give you your location while you're driving, along with your trip number, your day's date and time. People need also come with a safety mode where the driver don't have to touch the screen or send a message out while he's driving. As you see on the screen right here, it gives you your average miles per gallon, your instant miles per gallon, your driving day off-duty day your PC time. It also has a feature where any messages that are recent and new, you can press the play button and it will read it to you. All right, at this point in time, we have arrived at the Legends. You will press duty status. Switch over to on duty. On screen keypad. Type in legends. Press next. Add a remark if you want to is optional. Next again, and you're done. Earlier on, there was a message sent to the truck while I was on safe mode and the message read to me. If you want to check your messages that you get, you'll go to inbox. Scroll down. Press this button here for view or you can press it right here. And you can read your message. But I stress, don't read messages while you're driving. It is unsafe. Be safe as possible, drivers. Read your messages when you stop. And to get out of that, all you gotta do is hit your little house, which will be your home screen, carries you back. Now, if you wanna see what you drove, you can push review hours of the HOS. Hit your, you have summary, one day, seven day, eight day. You can do your one day. make it out like it's a paper log and you can actually see your lines that are drawn for you. To get out of it all you gotta do is push cancel. At this point in time you get out for this screen same concept second button right hand side go back to your duty status go to driving Enter where you're at, on screen keypad, legends. Next, next, confirmation, next. All right, we're right back to the Burger King lot and now we're gonna end our day using the people net. If you come up to a screen like this, just second button, driver e-logs, duty status. We're going to do on duty, ride that we're going on keypad, BK lot. Next, underneath the inner remarks, this time, we're going to end our day using post trip. While you're doing your post trip at the end of your day, it'll record that and after you do it, come back to the truck in 15 minutes or so, however long you an inspection, post trip, keypad, everything good done go back to duty status hit sleeper berth 
wherever you're sleeping that day. So instead of the Burger King lot, we're at the Petro. Because it'll record your location right down here where you're at. Get next, next, done, and now you're on the sleeper berth. If you want to know how much longer do you have on your sleeper berth or your hours of service at this point in time, hit review hours, the summary button, and right down here it, it will tell you everything you need to know. Current driving time, current on duty, how, how much you have left on your 70. And if you scroll on down using this bottom button right here, It'll tell you how long you've been asleep at birth, how long off duty, your 11 hours on duties, when, how long you've been on a cycle reset, how many hours you will gain if you're already on the eighth day rule at midnight. It will show your current sleeper birth and previous sleeper birth unless, in case you want to do a four hour split break, I mean eight hour split break. And it will also log down your cycle reset you can use to take your 34 hour reset. Again, all you have to do to find that is go back to your main screen, driver e-logs, review hours, summary button. Alright, if you want to see your one day progress, it's your one day. It will show you a graph or you can hit details and it'll do it word by word your one day activity. If you just scroll down, it'll tell you how many miles, where you stop, when you stop, when you took a break, and all that. Alright, if you want to activate your trip, go back to the main home screen where it says home, go to PACOS, it asks you have you arrived at your location, press arrived, and process, it'll process everything you need to know, it'll go to the order, hit reply, and send and now you are started on your order or your trip same thing follows if you want to end your or if you have arrived or if you want to finish the trip go back to the home screen Pecos it'll come up instead of arrive you'll depart easy enough Alright, at this point in time, we're going to go step by step on how to log into the PeopleNet website. The, the address will be pfmlogin.com. At this point in time, if you come up to this page and say invalid browser, you go right up here to the, to the compatibility mode. It looks like a little rip page. Click on it once. Click on it twice and now you can log in. And this web website will allow you to look at your logs either for personal use, business use, or DOT use. And once you get to the main web page, you'll go down and click on Driver Center. You'll use the company ID 1738. Driver ID would be whatever RTI gave you. Then the password will be your truck number. At this point in time, you can pull up all the logs for either your 7 day, 8 day, or 15 day. In a bigger format for where it'll be easier for you to read or DOT to read. And if DOT doesn't accept this, you can always call the company and they can fax it to them. As you can see right here, under the client summary, you can see the driving time available be 2 hours and 47 minutes. On duty, on duty time available, 2 hours and 47 minutes. 
total on duty per regulation, I still have 61 hours and three seconds. Hours gained tomorrow night, if you're doing the eight hour rule, will appear right here and it will show you whether you get four or five, or like in my case, I get 10 hours and 26 minutes back. But at this point in time during the day, I only have driving time available of four hours and 47 minutes. We can scroll down and bring you up your graph like it would show if you were doing paper logs. You have your log certification line, drive serve line, saying that you acknowledge that all previous logs are correct and current. If you have a problem with your e-log, it would also show it on this in red highlighted areas. Which you, at this point in time, if you see any problems like this, notify Mr. Nice Brightwell at RTI. At the bottom, you will see duty status changes and let you know if any changes has been made, the summary of the log sheet, or print logs. If by doing this, you can print out every log that you have for the past 15 days. On this screen here, you can actually pinpoint what day and time of what log you need to pull up. Line two, you can go down and print the logs that you want to get off the page. In the summary format of it, it'll give you dates, how many miles you drove on that day, how many off-duty hours, sleeper, driving, on-duty, and total hours of the day. You can also see the last seven days, the hours you drove, and the last eight days. It even notifies if you have any violations at this point in time on what day it occurred. At this point in time, I would like to go over a nice little feature over to PeopleNet. On your screen of the PeopleNet, when you're getting close to one hour of driving time left for the day, your PeopleNet will alert you, letting you know that you only have one hour left of driving time for that day. At this time, you need to go ahead and try to at least find a safe haven or something real close to you so you don't run out of time and so you have enough time to do it in a safe manner. And we thank you. Drive safe.